It is a long, sorrowful night for family members of one of Nigeria's finest broadcasters and actors, Sadiq Daba, who died at 8.35 uh, p.m. on Wednesday. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent, Mary Chinda, visited the home of the actor hours after his demise. Devoid of any human compassion. <laughs> to some, he was Beatrice at the popular NTA TV drama, Cockrow at Dawn. In the 1970s, to others, he was their favorite Inspector Waziri in October 1, short in 2014. And to many others, he was an exciting face to watch on the popular TV show AM Express. Whichever hat he wore, one thing was certain Sadiq Abubakar Daba was abundantly talented. As the news of the death of the African Movie Academy Awards winner hits the internet on Wednesday night, fans and friends have continued to share their pain. His Lagos residence at the MKO Abiola Gardens is crammed with mourners who have come to commiserate with his widow. Prayers are held for the repose of his soul as his wife recounts his last moments. But we've been weathering the storm and um, a week and a half ago, he started showing signs of ill health again. And um, he wasn't eating so much. And I just put it to um, maybe distress. Family members and industry friends of the veteran who are still trying to deal with the grief say he would be sorely missed. With a lot of Ill ailments, but you won't see it, you know, in him. He, was, he, he continued to be the life of the party. The one thing I miss about my dad the most is about his, his strong will and dedication. Because no matter how, how down or how weak he was, or seemed to be. He could always see the light at the end of the tunnel. My dad is a lovely dad, kind. In fact, I just don't know. <laughs> I will miss him so much. I miss him so much. He brought out the best in you by his inquisitive, inquisitive, if I may say, inquisitive questions. Deep-rooted questions about characterization. Uh, he, he challenged your abilities. You know, he was a deep person. And uh, like my friend said, don't let, don't let his uh, physical, uh, physical appearance deceive you. He was deep, he was strong, he was resilient. He could stand and walk for days as we did so many years ago, so many times. Ah, may so rest in peace. And we'll keep on praying for him because it's a routine thing. You know, you pray for your brothers, your sisters, your sons, your uh, 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 elders when they die. So. Rights activist Joel Dumakin, whose relationship with the deceased veteran spans over 20 years, describes him as a colossus. As Wherever Sadiq is, he will have realized that he fought a good cause and he tried his best to remain alive. He was so caring, always uh, appreciating any effort that anyone has made. He will be the one to say, ah, my angel, let's, let me have uh, a documentary to appreciate all those who have assisted me. Uh, We've lost him. We've lost one of our pets. And I'm sure that his legacy will forever speak. And the good cause that he stood for should be emulated by all. Meanwhile, the actor who battled post-rate cancer and leukemia was buried at about 12 noon today, March 4, 2021. According to Muslim rights, he was 69. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.